My name is Nancy Hewlin, and I'm the owner of Art of the Book. I'm going to talk with you a little bit today about how to use a dip pen for your normal writing. If you're keeping a journal, you want to learn calligraphy, a dip pen is a nice traditional way to write. What I have here is a lovely hand-turned holder and a metal nib. These are the two pieces, the holder and the nib, that together make a dip pen. One of the wonderful things about dip pens is that the tips are often interchangeable. The tips, which are called the nibs, you can see if you look very closely, are held into the wood. There's a little circle there, and the shank of the nib just slides into the holder. And it slides right back out again, which means that you can exchange your nibs for any type. Most of the nibs that you can purchase in the United States are all a standard size. They have the same size shank, so you can swap them in by aligning them on that curve and sliding them in. So for example, this is a very broad tip. You would use this to do a very large scale writing, like if you were doing posters or something like that. And again, here are some other types of tips. They all just slide in so you can exchange them. This first type of tip here is a standard writing tip. You'll notice that it has an oval hole here in the metal nib. This is referred to as your reservoir on your tip. When you dip your pen in the ink, you'll want to dip it in past that reservoir. Now, you'll see that this fine tip also has an oval. That's the reservoir. This one does not, but it has this interesting little metal piece that clips on top. That creates a reservoir in between the nib and that metal piece. This just keeps your, your ink in place and draws it out via capillary action. If you go back and remember your plant sciences from high school, that term might be familiar. Again, here your reservoir is in the middle of those two pieces of metal. Holds your ink a little bit. They won't stay completely full the whole time, of course, but that's what those strange shapes are for. Now, when you go to use your ink, what I have here is a, what's called a Sumi ink, a very rich black ink, lovely body, wonderful for writing, but you can use any type of ink that is made for dip pens. You'll want to stay away from ink that's made from fountain, for fountain pens because that often is a different consistency than what you'll use for dip pens. So you can see I've dipped it in a couple times. Now, if you look, you'll see that blob that's on the side there. We don't like that. That'll make a blob on our paper. So often I'll just rin, or, you know, brush the tip off against the edge of my inkwell. And I hold it like this. This is the correct way, not that. That's upside down. And I can do normal handwriting with this type of a, a tip, a nib. I wouldn't want to do normal handwriting with a broad edge tip like that. That's designed more for certain types of calligraphy. But for normal writing, a nib like this is fine. Just gonna sign my name here. And you'll see that as you write, you'll gradually run out of ink. And when that happens, you dip it back in. The metal nib on this type of dip pen will hold enough ink for you to do a few words at a time. If you're using a thin pointed nib like this, perhaps longer, you might get a sentence out of it before you have to re-dip. If you're using these thick nibs, uh, you probably will only get a word or so before you have to re-dip. And now another important thing when you're using your pen is to rinse it out. See, when I've done writing here, I'm gonna put my pen away. I have a cup of water over here and I dip it into the water. And then I have a piece of clean paper towel just to rinse off my nib. You never wanna have ink dry in your nibs because that can make it hard to clean later. So to make it easier on yourself, just make sure that you keep your nibs clean and dry when they're not in use. You can leave them in the holder, that's not a problem. 
To store them, I would recommend either laying them flat or putting them upright you know, in a cup or a holder like this. Try to avoid storing them point down because for pointed uh, nibs like this, that's kind of difficult on the point and you don't want to blunt it or wear it down any sooner than it will normally. These metal nibs will last you a long time with proper care, but naturally if you want to explore different styles of calligraphy or you want to replace your nibs, it's very easy to do. Almost all nibs sold in the United States are a standard size and will fit in a standard size holder. This particular one is lovely hand-turned hardwood. They're made for us by a wonderful artisan in Ohio. He does wonderful work. But you can also get plastic holders or straight holders. Sometimes if you have arthritis, larger holders might be more convenient and comfortable for your hand. But they're held just like a normal ballpoint pen. And again, you don't want to hold them up like this or upside down. You'll want to hold them in this direction at a bit of a slant. And if you have any questions or problems using your dip pen, feel free to drop me a line. Use the Contact Us form on our webpage, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, and I'd be happy to help you out. Again, my name is Nancy. I own Art of the Book, and thank you so much for watching.